Hi guys, my name is Kenna James Phil and welcome to episode 9 of Mean Girls Spring Break. Last episode, it went real, real wrong for uh, Green Eyed James Phil and Regina. We've been pretending to be Regina since she went missing on this mysterious island. Turns out she wasn't on a mysterious island, she was just kind of down the beach a little bit and she's appeared right at a really really bad time in front of the judges if you're playing this game i've got a link down below in the description where you can go ahead click the link and get some free gems and some free passes so make sure you go ahead and do that but let's get started with episode nine uh oh this is not gonna be good there's sharice or judge and the real regina and the ah oh, let's see what happens greenoid we were on the same island all along Civilization was just a few miles down the beach. We thought we were gonna die. I I sang in front of Janice Ian. Oh god, I think I'm gonna be sick. What on earth is going on here? I demand an explanation. Uh oh, let's think fast, right? Say it's a practical joke, say Regina's crazy. Ah let's uh say it's I don't know which one to choose. Let's say Regina's crazy. Security! What the? Security! Please escort this inebriated young woman out of here. Immediately. Oh, she's not going to have you like that. All right, ma'am. We're going to have to escort you off the premises. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Ah! Oh! She's been escorted off. What the hell was that? Something tells me they knew that crazy drunk girl from before. They're hiding something. And we're going to blow the lid off, whatever it is. The Stacey's are onto it. Regina, may I have a word with you? Er, uh, sure. What's up, Therese? I must say, I was caught off guard by that incident back there. Oh, I'm sorry. I think this merits more discussion. I see. Frankly, I'm not quite sure what to think right now. Besides that, I'm exhausted. Martina forgot to bring me coffee and I'm getting a headache. This evening was going so well and now I'm not so sure what is going on. Did that young woman call you greenoid? If I didn't know better, I'd think something were going on right under my nose. Uh-oh. Okay, we desperately need to use our gems here, don't you think? I'd better clear up this mess whilst I've got the chance. We are fast running out of gems, but we could either take her out for coffee to smooth things over for 36 gems or make an excuse not to talk about it. I feel like we should definitely take her out for coffee for 36 gems. Would you be up for grabbing some coffee with me, my treat? There's a cute little cafe a few blocks from here, right on the beach. Oh, that sounds like a lovely idea. Whew. Maybe we can convince her it's all okay. If there's one thing I don't like, it's surprises. Especially at the National Greek Conference. Something tells me the young woman who burst on stage was a friend of yours? Um, We don't have to dwell on the incident, but I never want to see anything like that again in this competition. Understood? Oh, of course. I'm so sorry, Sharice. Just remember, in the end, humility will always help you win. Nobody likes a showboat. I understand. Thank you for agreeing to have coffee with me. Oh, thanks for inviting me. I know I'm being tough on you right now, but it's because I believe in you. You've impressed me each and every step of the way. So I wanted to address this slip up before it cost you the competition. Which brings me to my next point, which is, I've made up my mind about which school I'll be casting my vote for. You have the University of Evanston. Oh my God, I can't thank you enough. I was having doubts about your commitment to this competition, but seeing you take the initiative to reach out to me one-on-one -on -one proves that your head is in the game. You deserve this, Regina. Now, I'm pretty sure I can convince Rodney and Martina to do the same. Of course, the girls from the University of Beverly Hills aren't going to be pleased. I suppose not. 
Just between you and me, I heard that Stacey de Rubenstein once placed second in a beauty pageant. She filed a lawsuit accusing the winner of misrepresenting herself to the pageant officials. Yikes, that's not going to go down while she does that with us. Sure enough, it turned out the winning girl wasn't technically a Florida resident. She got her crown taken away and everything. How did Stacey figure that out? In this day and age, with the internet, there's no getting away with anything. Guess I'm lucky, St Jezebel is a cellular dead zone. All I ask is that you be patient and understanding. In the face of the Stacey's reaction to the U of E being named Greek Campus of the Year. Of course. Thanks again for the coffee. The fact that you took the initiative to invite me shows that Regina George is a cut above the rest in this competition. That means a lot to me, Cherise. Pending any major snaffers between now and the gala tomorrow evening, I'd say you can start considering that scholarship money yours. Something's going to happen between now and tomorrow evening though, isn't it? Oh, why are they so sad? Okay, so nobody was all that impressed with our climb. Even though it was six whole miles. Uphill too. I didn't see any of them climbing Mount St Jezebel to make out at the top. Maybe because that's only exciting to us. Ugh, I hate that you're right. But hey, we're here now. I've never been gambling before. See? Trying new things. We're more adventurous and impulsive already. And you know what? In the spirit of being impulsive, I'm going to bet my last $200 I saved for this trip. Aaron, shouldn't we start smaller? Small sounds like boring. Besides, I'm feeling lucky with my girl. I'm all in. You need an eight to win, sir. Eight's my lucky number. Is he going to win? 24. Oh. Congratulations. Hey, on you green eyed friends? I love Portia. I don't know why, I just love her. I was her roommate the first week of freshman year. Oh, yeah, hey. This could be a problem, right? I think, yeah, this isn't good. I think I saw her on the beach the other day and she was wearing a wig. It looked terrible. <laughs> Anyways, I've got $10,000 to claim. See ya. Oh, well, my bank account is now officially empty. <laughs> I told you not to bet the whole pot. I was trying to be impulsive. You impulsived your way to bankruptcy. Would you like to try again? No. Let's just go back to the hotel. Oh. This is the following day, I think this is the following day, right? You're being paranoid. I'm telling you, Regina, we're way too close to winning this thing to take any risks. So I can't even go shopping. Too risky, Regina. It's a miracle we didn't get caught after the show you put on last night. Tonight's the awards gala and I think we have a good shot of winning. Can't you just take one for the team and hang out in the hotel room? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Do you know the literal hell I've gone through? We were stranded. Did you guys know Regina could spearfish? I'm still dehydrated, my feet are sunburnt, and of course I spent my entire time rejecting Janice's romantic advances. Oh, here we go again. Now I come back and Greenoid has stolen my identity. Defend yourself or apologise. Defend ourselves. What other choice did I have? Drop out of the competition? You could have started by sending a search party for me. We thought you ditched us. <gasps> Greenoid's been an amazing Regina, by the way. People have actually been buying this. Oh yeah, she's the most popular girl on the island. Practically a fashion icon too. The Greek council loves her. And she's dating this mega hunk named Justin. She's been dating somebody as me. Oh, deep breaths Regina, let it out. Or hold it in, I'm good with whatever. Hey, hey, why the long faces? 
Oh, Damien, can you please tell Aaron that he just drank way more than his half of the breakfast smoothie? Why? Aren't you speaking to Aaron? I don't know. Why don't you ask the high roller over there? Aaron lost the rest of his savings at the casino last night. After Katie made me march through mosquito nest, nest so we could kiss on the highest mountain in St. Jezebel. They probably sell cream for those bites at the hotel lobby. He can't afford any. He's ruined this entire trip. Me? You're the one insisting we're too boring for a normal vacation. You've been going over the top to prove how interesting we are. Being this itchy with no money to fix it sure isn't boring. Then I bet you're finally happy. Thrilled. God, I got bored just listening to that fight. <laughs> oh, is it the evening of the like the gala dinner? Possibly. Oh, whoa, check out Damien. Off to the awards gala already? I'll be in this filthy hotel room if you need me. Look on the bright side, we're probably going to win. I'm telling you, Greenoid has done a phenomenal job. Oh no, why aren't we ready? Why are you still in your pyjamas? Oh, I don't know what to wear. I brought this incredible gown to wear to the awards gala. Such a shame it will never see the light of day. Regina! Oh, fine, it's hanging up in the closet. Go put it on, Greenoid. For real? For real. It's gonna be a gem item. Ooh. Greenoid, you look stunning. Not as good as I would have looked in that dress. But Damien's right, it works on you. It's a Cinderella story. Are you gonna wear it? Ah, oh, it's 48 gems. We've no longer got enough, we only have 23. I think I will see if I can get some more gems for next episode, possibly. But for now, we're gonna say I'm not sure I want to try some other options I so don't want to try any other options um let's go all black let's try something else purple dress mm. I think I'm gonna go I kind of like that black number I'm gonna go back wear this it's nice enough right my lady shall we depart for the gala we shall they go, oh poor Regina. I'm going to get a drink with my new boyfriend, Count Travis Antonio. Boff, he sounds like a con artist. Oh, he's not an artist, he's a count, like royalty. See ya. He's a con artist, Regina is right. She has to just stay in by herself, Oh, Oh no, Janice is staying with her. Looks like it's just you and me again, buddy. You feel like singing to me again? <laughs> Oh. oh, here we are at the gala. Oh, everyone looks so nice. Okay, they're announcing the winners at 10 o'clock. All we have to do is play it cool and make sure no one blows our cover. Who's going to blow our cover? You're being paranoid, Damien. We are so, so close to winning that $100,000. I just don't want anything or anyone to screw this up. Ooh, look at the Stacys. Well, if it isn't our favourite competitors from the U of E. I'm surprised they showed up tonight after that bizarre little stunt they pulled at the Luau. What stunt? That weird blonde girl who burst on stage when you were up there with the council. Oh, you mean that crazy chick who ran up on stage? Pretty scary, if you ask me. You're not fooling us, Regina. You two are up to something shady and we're on to you. I have no idea what you're talking about. Save it. We're going to get to the bottom of this by 10 o'clock, right before we claim the $100,000. Intimidate them. Uh, let's intimidate them. You three need to start practicing your gracious loser smiles, because when the clock strikes 10pm, Damien and I are taking home the $100,000. Move along, girls. Your dresses are offending my eyes. And Regina and I have to practice our victory speeches. We'll see who has the last laugh. When we set out to destroy someone, we never fail. And tonight, it's going to be the U of E. See you later, Regina. If that is your real name. Uh-oh, they might really be onto us. 
Yeah, I think that's the end. Is that the end? Yeah, there we go. It's not going to go smoothly, is it? Of course it's not. They're going to figure it out, I think, by 10 o'clock. But we'll just have to wait and see until next episode. If you are playing this game, or indeed any of the stories on episode, make sure you click that link down below to get your free gems and your free passes. Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye!